and body shaming and the confidence that they've had to actually revamp and find within themselves. Yesterday we spoke about Kabuda speaking about the fact that he's 150 kgs and people have been making fun of him forever because he decided to dance on TikTok. Now today we delve into another man who has always said, according to him, he's been a big boy, a Mikwaka Badi for a long time. And he actually went through the motions of having those struggles as he was younger. Now he said a few things that actually really, really touched, pulled on my heartstrings because mm -hmm. number one, he said, he has always been heavy. I'll quote, I have always been heavy. My self-esteem was really low. Zaman nilikuwa na grow up nam no. So I used to be mocked a lot about my weight. Mm. So you find that when uh, my boys would go katia madem, vile mi sikuwa na hiyo courage, so sikuwa naenda kujiteke. Mm. So basically, his self-esteem was really, really butchered as a kid. By him chungwa na unajua, bethe unajua children. Yeah. Children. God damn. Have you, has a child ever said something to you? Mbako kwa like, what? You, you hurt. Mbako mm. chungu. Mbako kwa nye makuapa. That is the level of energy that children can give you. So imagine your fellow, you know, peers. Wakiku enjoy about being a big boy. It's, it's so sad. Anyway, he continued to actually say that this went on even when he went to school in high school where he went to Narumoru. Mm. Now he says in Narumoru, kids will also still pick up on him. It, it, it pick on him, sorry. It didn't end until it got to a point where he said, mm -mm, I'm done. Abadan Katan. He said he doesn't know where the confidence came from, but it came in leaps and bounds. He says that Ikafika Wakati mtu akimwambia, eh, we mnono, eh, kitambi, kitambi, nini, nini, nini. Ana kupiga na moja very fast. Papa. Eh? If you joke around with him, ana kuambia, moto, kuja, moto. Papa, he said. <laughs> that um he would actually respond at the ah oh kitambi nini mimi nakurushia moja unaenda home mimi nakurushia moja tu pa unaenda home and he actually continued to say that um he would like that schools introduce courses of counseling and psychology in schools to prepare students for uh, uh for handling their insecurities in life and he actually said that in um i think a, li a little early on he'd spoken about the fact that his mom was also not the most well-off person mm -hmm. so he ended up not having the best clothes like he wasn't the most fashionable person so basically he's like a big guy like a big child and pum pum and then he's dressed in the most meh way however he says he does not give any or discredit his mom for this because he knows that his mom worked really hard to provide what they already were wearing and provide for them so he didn't really take it to heart he didn't really blame his mom for anything he understood but that actually did play into him being bullied quite a bit and being body shamed but he says how is he mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm. Mm. But I like that sentiment that he said that schools should introduce courses on psychology and counseling so that kids are able to, like, I don't know, speak their minds and try and get these levels of uh, instill self-confidence and instilling knowledge on children because a lot of kids are bullied. In fact, most people who are adults now that have a lot of childhood trauma, it's because of all the things that they experienced during their childhood. Most people, when you go to a therapist, they start going back to your childhood so that you can be able Able to understand where you are where you are so if a lot of the trauma that we have now that we're experiencing now is due to our childhood and how we were raised i think then we need to go backwards and mm. start counseling people and and training them and coaching them on how to actually live life when they are young so that they grow up as fully circle like full circle adults so i really like that sentiment and i love the fact that he said he didn't um he got his own way of finding confidence within himself because mm. a lot of people take very very long before they're able to actually garner that level of confidence to actually talk back at people and clap back because we wengine bado tuko tunakazana tu huku mtu anakutumia ka message moja pale kwa dm instagram unasikia niko unaweza faint but it is what it is yeah and i feel like a lot of these conversations need to start when children are very, very young, young. Mm. and i feel like the same things you say to a child reinforces some of the insecurities they have. It could be in passing. You could have the very best of intentions, mm -hmm. but the way you said it, the tone you used just takes this child to a completely different place. And most people don't even realize what mm -hmm. they're saying. Mm -hmm. And right now, you know, I used to think, you know, having a boy, like raising a boy is easy peasy. I don't have to deal with all of this. But then you walk out here and you meet 
adults who are still dealing with the same issues and you can tell, hey, this is a wound from childhood. This person has always believed this narrative about themselves. And I have an example of my son coming to me and asking me, mom, am I too skinny? Uh -huh. And immediately I realized that it was a conversation he had had with somebody else. Mm. And I was like, who told you that? I was like, oh, she told me I was too skinny. I'm like, no, you're very healthy. Are you healthy? Yeah, so you're not skinny, you're healthy, you know. So just shifting what they're believing in that moment, shifting what they've been told by other people and reinforcing it with positivity. No, you're not. I don't think you're skinny. Do you think you're skinny? Yeah, you know, I think you have muscles. You know, just put it in a different way. Talk to people with kindness. Even adults, Aki, before you point something out to me, mm -hmm. trust me. See, it's me. See, it's my body. I am aware. I know. I, woke up I have I lived this. So you come in to tell me, hey, by the way, your tumbo is doing the thing. God, you think I don't know? But despite of all of that, I still woke up and came here. Why are you telling me this? You know?